Hello my pretties and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little makeup tutorial on how I get ready in the morning. Ever since Athena took Poseidon's side, I've had to make some slight changes to my daily makeup routine. I will share my story throughout this tutorial and hopefully then you will come to realize that I am not the monster. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so click that subscribe button or I'll be forced to turn you all into stone. Now that I have threatened you, we shall move on to the tutorial. I wasn't always this monster, you know. In fact, I was quite the opposite. When I turned hideous, men hunted me for my head but many failed as I would turn those wretched boys into stone. But when I was a beautiful young maiden, I was also hunted, but in a very different way. I guess I will start at the beginning, my birth. I was one of three sisters born to Forkies and Seto, who were both sea gods, I was the only mortal among my sisters. I was considered quite beautiful. Many men lusted for me, and many women envied me. However, I had nothing but love and respect for Goddess Athena, and remained pure and eventually became a priestess for her temple. Many would come to the temple just to get a glance of me and my beauty. They even all claimed that my beautiful hair rivaled that of Athena's. Athena, of course, became jealous of me. One fateful day, I decided to take a relaxing stroll along the beach and happened to catch the attention of Poseidon, the god of the seas. He became infatuated by me and tried several times to... Um, well, woo me, if you will. I rejected all of his advances because I wished to remain a pure priestess of Athena. Poseidon and Athena were in the middle of a conflict, so Poseidon thought he could just steal me away from Athena, as if I were some object. He was fed up of my constant rejections, and so he decided to take me against my will. I was absolutely terrified shaking with fear. I ran as fast as I could to the goddess Athena's temple, hoping that she would protect me. However, she failed me. I was left defenseless, and Poseidon had his way with me. When Poseidon had finished his evil deed, Athena decided to finally appear. She was enraged that such an event had taken place in her holy temple. And so she took out her rage on me. She punished me instead of Poseidon, because punishment of the gods is, well, unthinkable. Athena cursed me. She turned my once beautiful locks of hair into venomous snakes, and anyone who would look into my eyes would be turned into stone. My transformation into a hideous monster had caught the attention of many warriors far and wide, and they all wished to add my head to their list of trophies. But they all failed, all of them, except for one, Perseus, son of Zeus. The only reason why he was successful was because the gods helped him. Hades gave him a helmet that made him invisible to me, and Hermes donated his winged sandals allowing him to easily reach me. And then Athena, as if she did not hurt me enough, she gave Perseus a bronze shield that would be able to reflect my petrifying gaze and a sharp sword so he could swiftly cut off my head. At the time of my death, I was pregnant with Poseidon's offspring. 
and from my severed neck, Pegasus, the winged divine horse, my dear child, was born. As you see, I was the victim in this story. I was once a beautiful, young, faithful maiden, envied by all. But history made me out to be a vicious monster when my only error was putting my trust in Athena who failed me and punished me for something that was beyond my control. My head, however, is now considered a protective amulet that keeps evil away, if you really want to find the silver lining. Anyways, now that you know my story, who do you think is the real monster? So that was it for the makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions on this look, then please leave it in the comment section down below and I will reply. Other than that, please subscribe if you don't wish to turn to stone. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video where I share with you my collection of man statues.